Hello students, this is your English lesson. In this lesson, we are going to read unit number 2. Majid goes shopping from Oxford Reading Circle 3. Let's get started. Majid did not like shopping. If it was a visit to a toy shop with dad, that was fine. If it was to a bookshop by himself, that was even better. He liked toys. He liked reading. But to go and buy clothes or bangles or shoes or food this was all too much one afternoon majid was at home reading a book good book the story was exciting majid turned the pages quickly he could not wait to reach the end then he heard mom shouting majid majid where is that boy majid carried on reading but a moment later mom came into his room majid didn't you hear me call Asked mom. Majid shook his head from side to side. Come on, said mom. We are going shopping. Shopping? Said Majid. I'm not coming. I'm reading. Now, don't argue, Majid. Said mom. You can read in the car. But that makes me sick. Complained Majid. Well, leave your book, said mom. But hurry. You can't stay at home alone. Mom. Why, mom? Won't Majid. Ma, please, Ma, I don't. Don't whine, cried Mom. You sound just like some ancient woman or urchin. Majid looked cross. He closed his book, put on his socks and shoes and was ready in three minutes. But he was not happy. He stood by the car, looking gloomy. Mom and Majid were soon on their way. Mom stopped at a shoe shop. Majid sat in the car, not saying a word, while Mom was in the next shop, a clothes shop. Majid growled. I bet it's food next. Mom came out of the shop and drove along the main road towards their house. Majid began to feel better. Ah, we shall be home soon, he thought. As they were getting close, Mum suddenly drove into the car park of a large supermarket. Majid looked like a black cloud about to burst. Come inside with me, Majid, said Mum. I will need your help. Just my luck, grumbled Majid as he followed her inside. Mum found a trolley and Majid pushed it along. As they passed between the shelves of food, Mum picked up various things. Three tins of baked beans, a box of soap powder, a carton of milk. The list was endless. Majid became bored and tired of pushing the trolley in a zigzag line. Then he had a brilliant idea. He kept well behind mom and looked at the things on the shelves. At last they reached the checkout. Majid took the things out of the trolley and placed them on the counter. Mom stood at the far end of the counter, helping a girl to pack the things. After a number of bags had been packed, Mom shrieked, Stop, stop! What is all this stuff? This is not my shopping. Cat food. We don't have cat. Red boot polish. We don't have red boots. Blue eyeshadow. I never wear. Suddenly, she stopped shrieking and peered at Majid. You are a naughty boy, Majid, she said, not too loudly because people were looking. Majid wanted to smile but did not dare, not with mom looking like a volcano. He stood by and watched mom and the girl unpack and repack the bags. The journey home was very, very quiet as the car pulled into the drive that came out and waved. Where have you two been? asked dad, helping to carry the shopping. Your car was just ahead of mine on the main road and then we have been shopping, replied mom, and your son has been very naughty. You must have a word with him. When they got indoors, dad sat down with Majid and mom. What's all this about Majid? asked dad. Tell me what happened. Mom would not let me read, wailed Majid, and she called me an ancient woman's chin. Ah, uh, what? cried mom. I never did. You did, said Majid. That's what you said. An ancient woman's chin. Is that what made you cross? She asked, shaking with laughter. What I said was that you were winging like an ancient woman or an urchin. 
Ha ha ha, laughed Dad. What a joke, like an urchin. Majid not urchin. An urchin is a boy on the streets. Majid stopped wailing and smiled weakly. There was no need for you to get cross, said Mom. I should be cross with you for putting those things in my trolley at the supermarket. Ah, so that's where you went, said Dad. As I was saying earlier, I was following you along the main road on my way home and you suddenly vanished. Yes, replied Mom. I turned into a supermarket. Majid laughed loudly. Dad and Mom stared at him. What's so funny about that, son? asked Dad. Mom vanished. Ha ha, chuckled Majid. I winged like her chin and she turned into a supermarket. Mom, Dad and Majid laughed till they cried. And there was just enough time before homework for Majid to finish his story. Now come to the exercises. A. Questions 1. What were Majid's likes and dislikes? Answer. Majid liked toys and reading books. He even liked visiting a toy shop or a bookshop, but he did not like shopping. He did not like to go shopping for clothes, bangles, shoes or food. 2. How did Majid behave in the supermarket? Answer. Majid was very naughty in the supermarket. As he did not enjoy being there, he played a prank on his mother and put lots of things into the trolley that his mother did not want to buy. 3. What was the reason behind Majid's chuckling? Answer. Majid was chuckling because he realized the misunderstanding that had taken place. He understood Archin as wind like her chin and her mother turned into a supermarket very amusing b reference to context for each of the following say who was speaking who was being spoken to and one the words were said one i bet it's food next answer majid said this to himself after the shopping for shoes and clothes was over Two, you are a naughty boy. Answer, mom to Majid at the supermarket check out counter when she understood the prank he had pulled by loading all sorts of unnecessary stuff into their trolley. Three, I wind like her chin. Answer, Majid to his dad and mom when they realized that Majid had misunderstood what mom had said. Four, so that's where you went. Answer, Dad to Mom after hearing from Mom that they had been to the supermarket. 5. You did. Answer, Majid said to Mom when she denied having compared him to an old woman's chin. C. Words and meaning. Some speakers did not finish speaking. What do you think they wanted to say? A. Mom, I never wear. Answer, eyeshadow. B. Dad, your car was just ahead of mine on the main road and then answer. All of a sudden, you disappeared. C. Majid, I don't answer. Want to leave my book and go shopping. 2. Check how these words and phrases are used in the story. Use them in sentences of your own. A. Shrieked. Suddenly shrieked the princess so loud that those in the drawing room heard her and were got frightened. B. Burst. He was taken to the hospital with a burst appendix. C. Pulled into. Just as I was reaching for royal palace, I saw a car pulled into the drive away without headlights. D. Suddenly vanished. Have they vanished and suddenly fled? E. Brilliant. His college career was very brilliant. Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.